Joey T and the Snap for another episode. All right, so you heard about drinking wines and storing wines at room temperature. Well, what the heck is room temperature? Let me tell you, room temperature is not at 72 or 5 or how you're comfortable at. Think about a cave where the wine is stored or it's made in Napa or in France or in Italy. It's stored underground and it's cool down there. So it's in the seven, uh, 57 to you know 59 range. So let's uh, take a look at ways that you can store your wine. Now you can certainly keep it down in your basement, but just make sure of a couple of things. Make sure that it's cool, and most basements are, and that the temperature doesn't fluctuate. You want to make sure that you have constant temperature because if it goes way up or way down, over a period of time, that's bad, and your wine, you're not going to have fun with your wine then. So, constant temperature, even if it was at 70, that should be fine, but if it goes to 100 and then comes down to, you know, 30, not good. So, another way of doing it, and I have happen to have a uh, Euro Cob here, as you can see that it has uh, tinted glass, uh, this is showing 58 degrees, has several shelves, and that the wine's laying down like we've talked about in the past. Why do we want the wine to lay down? So that the cork stays moist and it doesn't crack. That was an earlier episode. All right, so let's keep your wine, if you're storing it in something like a Eurocab or down in your uh, basement, let's keep it around 57, 58, somewhere in that range. Constant temperature, though, okay, that's key, and no light. So those are the points to take away. Other things is when you go to drink it, your red wine should be somewhere in the 60 to 65 um, range, and then your white should be 45 to 50. So, uh, how do you do that? Well, you know, you can you can store it in something like this, or when you if it's in the basement and it's maybe at 70, there's a couple ways to maybe cool your wine just before you're to drink it. You can get a bucket of ice. Uh, ice water. So a little ice, put some water in there, you could spin your wine in there or, or set it in there for about 10 minutes and it'll be good to go. I also have this, um, it's like a koozie for your bottle. So you keep this in your uh, in the, the freezer and it, it'll keep it chill. Just kind of slide it right on your wine and you're good to go. All right, so now you finish your wine uh, for the day. You still have a little bit left. Talked about this, you know, trying to take the air out. Um, I put my wine in a the refrigerator then with a with with that cork, trying to take the air out. Um, when you're ready to drink it again, when you take it out, um, let it come back a little bit. You don't want to drink it at you know at uh, 40 degrees here. So and it should last in your refrigerator for a, a good you know depending on the type of wine you got you know three to seven days. So hopefully uh, you learned something. Remember no lights. Keep it at room temperature, which is below ground. So it's going to be somewhere in the 60 or a little bit less. Hope you had fun. I did. Hit that like button. Send me an email. Joey, t, Joey underscore underscore T at hotmail.com. Send me some uh, thoughts for future episodes. Hope you had fun. I did. Thanks. Joey T signing out.